We've looked at soloing tracks and channel strips, and in this video, we're gonna look at soloing regions. We can do it either via key command or with this S button in the control bar. And if you're not viewing this, you can customize it by right-clicking, customizing the control bar and display, and under modes and functions, make sure that solo is enabled. So we can do this two ways. We can click on a region and then click S, and that'll solo it. Or we can do the reverse. We can click the S button, and then click on regions and solo them, and we can shift click to select multiple regions. Now, one advantage of this is that we can solo regions individually on multiple tracks that are pointing to the same channel strip. So for example, I have the two easy keys tracks here pointing to that one channel strip, and if we solo it, they're both gonna be soloed. But if I solo the region, let's say by shift clicking that, I can solo just those regions and not the one on the other track. And by clicking that one, I can solo just that one. And solo them all together by virtue of selecting them all together and they'll all play at the same time. Now we can also click a track header to select everything on the track. And like we saw in the last video, that's good for when the solo button isn't available here. Now we also have something called solo lock mode. And what this does is it allows you to lock in the selection of what's soloed even when they're deselected. So the way it works now is in this regular solo mode is whatever is selected is gonna be soloed. But let's say I wanna lock these two in. What I can do is option click this S button and we see a little padlock icon. And as expected, these two will be soloed. But if I change the selection and select something else, it won't matter, these two will still be retained in solo mode. And that's called solo lock mode and we option click here and the key command for that is option S. So when we're in solo lock mode, we see this little padlock icon here. I can just click the S button and we're back out of solo mode in regular playback mode. So I can select one or more regions and press control S to solo them or I can hit option S to solo lock them or option click the S button. Now let's say I deselect and the solo lock status is retained and I'm working, I'm scrolling around, I'm doing different things, I'm working in different editors and I want to remember what I have solo locked. Well, conveniently, there's a key command to reselect solo locked regions. And this is good if maybe I have some that are out of view here that had been solo locked originally. Maybe I want to hear some vocals along with this guitar. And what I can do is reselect them using the key command Option, Shift, and S and that'll reselect the solo locked regions. So let's do a quick little recap here. We've learned that we can press the S in the control bar to solo selected regions, and the shortcut for that is Control S. And any region that's clicked on is placed in solo mode when we have that control bar S button engaged, and we can shift click to solo multiple selected regions together. And this works on regions individually, even when they're on multiple tracks pointing to the same channel strip, like we saw with the piano. And we can hold the shift down while the solo button is engaged and click on the names of tracks to solo multiple tracks together. So I didn't show you that, but we can, let's say we're in regular solo mode. I can hit there and then let's say command click there. And now we'll hear both of them together. Not welcome in his home. So that works nicely. So shift click to select multiple contiguous tracks or command click for non-contiguous ones. So we can option click the solo button to lock the solo status of the regions. And it's called solo lock mode and the shortcut is option S. And then we can reselect the solo lock regions when they've become deselected with option shift S. See if more in the next video.